good morning students today we will discuss about the next subtopic soil and crops you know the soil and crops so the soil is very important for all living organisms you know because of we will get food from plants the plants where will grown from the soil you know so the soil is one of the important part of in our life so you have the different types of soil is found in the different areas you know the previous class we will discuss about the types of soil you know like that uh, loamy soil sandy soil clay soil you know so the different kinds of soil is found in the different areas in some parts of the clay soil you know that some part of the region is present in the clay soil and in some other part of present in sandy soil or in some other parts of present in that loamy soil okay so the different crops you know the different types of crop for example like the sugar cane paddy and wheat and maize you know so the you know all the plants cannot grow in same kind of soil you know is it indeed so the different kinds of soil can grow in the different types of soil okay so soil is affected by wind rainfall temperature light and humidity you know when will soil affected you know the one word is the soil erosion you know the soil erosion means what the like the top layer of soil you know the top layer of soil it replaced from one place to another place through the wind rainfall temperature light and humidity okay so these are the some important climate factors will affected the soil profile and bring the change in the soil structure so these are the factor or these are the reasons only the soil structure is centrally changed because of the climatic conditions like the through that wind on rainfall and temperature light or humidity okay so the climate factors as well as the temperature of soil determine the various types of vegetation and crops and might grow in any region you know so the climate factors as well as the components of soil determine the various types of vegetation and crops and might grow in that any regions so the first of all the soil also is very important at the same time the climate factors this also is very important for growing plants you know clay and loamy soil are both suitable for growing cereals like wheat and gram and in some other the cereal item also will be grown in this kinds of soil okay clay soil and loamy soil are both suitable for growing cereals like wheat and gram okay such soils is good for retaining water for paddy soil rich in clay and organic matter and having the good capacity to retaining water for ideal okay so the for example we are uh, planting the paddy tree you know we are planting the paddy means the which kind of soil is suitable like the clay soil is suitable for growing the paddy plant so that soil is present in the organic matter you know organic matter means like that uh, one word you know the humus you know like the dead plants and animals the decompose with soil so that soil having the good uh, humus okay so that soil is good for growing plants so that is called that organic matters and having a good capacity to retaining water and ideal uh, for the lentil so in some other food items like pulses are growing in the loamy soil which drain water easily you know the drain means nothing but vadigal 
ஓகேவா வாட்டர் வந்து அதில் ஸ்டோர் ஆகாது ஓகே எவ்வளோ வாட்டர் விட்டாலும் அந்த பிளான்ஸ் அப்சர்வ் பண்ணிவிட்டு ரிமைனிங் வாட்டர் வந்து என்ன ஆகிடும் வெளியே வந்துடும் ஓகேவா ட்ரெயின் வாட்டர் ஈஸிலி ஆர் ரெக்வர்டு ஃபார் காட்டன் சாண்டி லோம் அண்ட் த லோம் விச் ட்ரெயின் வாட்டர் ஈஸிலி அண்ட் கேன் ஹோல்ட் பிளண்டி ஆஃப் ஏர் அண்ட் மோர் சூட்டபுள் ஓகேவா லைக் த cotton plants grow in only that loamy soil and the crops such as wheat are grown in fine clay soil next crops the wheat is grown in suitable for the clay soil because they are rich in humus and are very fertile okay so these kinds of soil which kind of soil like the clay soil is suitable for growing the wheat because of so these kinds of soil having the rich humus or very fertile so next the uh, find from your teachers a parent or farmers or types of soil or crops grown in our area so it is one kind of activity you know whenever you free just you go and meet the like the farmer as well as that um, agriculture office also is available and ask your teachers then you ask some questions you know which kinds of soil is suitable for growing which kinds of plants so they just given the table the 9.2 first one the types of soil and crop grown so which kinds of crops grown in that soil you know and the next one the soil already we will discuss you know the soil erosion so the soil erosion mean nothing but the removal of land surface by water wind or ice is known as the soil erosion you know the soil erosion means mannerip okay va mannerip eppadi erpaduna like the top layer of soil okay va the top layer of soil so it has the humus as well as the good quality or good conditions for growing plants so these kinds of uh, these types of uh, top soil it can replace from one place to another place through the some of the factors what are the factors like that wind okay wind and rainfall and temperature and humidity so these are the factors only the top layer of soil it can replace from one place to another place this is called what the soil erosion the plants root firmly bind the soil so normally the plants root is always bind with the soil okay va in the absence of plants soil because low so it can be moved by wind and flowing water so the plants root is always hold with the soil you know whenever they will start at the soil erosion means what the root cannot grip or hold with the soil so what will happen the plants or trees it can easy to fall down the erosion of soil is more so in area of little or no surface vegetation such as a desert or bare land you know like the desert regions you know like the desert means what the presence only in the sandy soil there is the no rainfall or very little rainfall only so cutting of trees and deforestation should be prevented and effect should be made to increase the green areas so how will you reduce the soil erosion first you control the deforestation okay va you know what is the meaning of deforestation cutting down trees in large area of land you know first you should prevent that deforestation so how will you improve that soil er- erosion just you make a planting a more trees okay planting a more trees so then only we will prevent that soil erosion okay va so the soil erosion is should be prevented you never prevented means what will happen the plants cannot grow because the root cannot hold the soil so can the trees or plant you can easily to fall down through the wind or rainfall or temperature or humidity so these are the climate factors only okay so how will you reduce that soil erosion means just planting a new trees okay va make a afforestation okay va so planting a 
more tea so then only we will prevent that soil erosion okay thank you student this soil lesson over just you uh, read and write that what you have learnt that is a very important just you read and write and send to me okay thank you students